Jason Todd was Batman's second Robin and sidekick, who was killed by the Joker and then later resurrected and transformed into the anti-hero Red Hood, one of the most interesting and popular DC characters that there is. However, when Jason Todd first emerged, he was very unpopular. The reason for this is because he's not the Jason Todd that we now know. Because originally he wasn't his own character at all, but instead he was just a carbon copy of Dick Grayson, right down to him having a family who were in the circus who were then killed by a criminal. The only real difference was that Jason had red hair back then. Now the reason for this is because Dick Grayson had become Nightwing and left Batman's side and DC was scared that readers wouldn't buy the comic without Robin at Batman's side, or at least that the sales would drop significantly. Which seems mad now, but to be fair, Robin was insanely popular when he came out and boosted the sales of pretty much every comic he was in, which is why DC put him in so many and eventually made him into his own solo hero with his own series. And they've also continued to use child or teenage heroes to this day because they sell a lot of comics. So DC's answer to this was just to make a replica of Dick Grayson to keep sales up. And to be fair, the Robin persona has been replaced a lot. But the difference is that although there have been many Robins, they've all had their own unique aspects and personalities and backstories. Which is why fans can go with there being several different Robins over the years, even though there are a lot of jokes made about this. But the original Jason Todd did not have any of this uniqueness, at least not back then. So this didn't go down well with fans, uh, especially since DC's answer to this seemed to be to make Jason Todd more moody and violent, and he became a much harsher character that still wasn't liked by the fans. And so it all kind of backfired, because everyone hated that it was just a copy of Dick Grayson, who was then violent for no real reason. After all, Dick Grayson wasn't that violent, and as I've said, they had pretty much the same lives. Fans also disliked that he came across as being a bit whiny, and that he was ungrateful for what Batman had done for him, and for being Batman's ward, and of course, being Robin the Boy Wonder. Of course, stuff like this was later retconned. It feels awesome! Check me out! I'm Robin the Boy Wonder! Are you kidding me? This rocks! But back then, the character was so unpopular that the editor, Dennis Benny O'Neill, decided that something needed to be done. And so he decided to employ an idea that he had gotten from watching a Saturday Night Live sketch. You see, Eddie Murphy once did a sketch on the show Saturday Night Live, where he encouraged audience members to call into the show to decide yes or no on whether he would kill a lobster. And O'Neill thought that this idea could work in a comic book as well. So a phone-in number was made, and the fans were told at the end of an issue that they could vote in yes or no on whether Jason Todd was killed by the Joker in the next comic book issue. And that way, DC would know, once and for all, whether to keep Jason Todd around, or just to let him die. So, two endings for the comics were made, and the phone lines were open for 36 hours, from 8am Eastern Standard Time to 8pm Eastern Standard Time, with a charge of 50 cents per call. Obviously, this was only available in America. And approximately 10,614 votes were cast, with 5,343 votes in favour of killing Jason and 5,271 votes in favour of his survival. So he was killed by the Joker, as the fans had spoken. Or had they? It was later revealed that a person could ring in to vote as many times as they liked from the same number, and one person had programmed their computer to do just that, and his computer had phoned in over 100 times for Jason's death. Which means if you take away this fan's constant voting, then Jason Todd probably would have survived and Batman comics would be incredibly different to what they are now. Now, that's kind of messed up voting in that many times to kill them, but then the whole thing is messed up. It's kind of like Pop Idol or X Factor, except that the loser is executed when they're voted off. Of course, it is important to remember that these characters aren't technically speaking real. Batman, Superman, Jason Todd, Wonder Woman, they are just ink on the page. Although that being said, let's be honest, we all kind of feel like they are alive because we've read so much of their lives. And even if they're not technically real, you still can't help caring about them. It's just part of being human. But that is the real reason why Jason Todd died. Poor character writing mixed with fan hatred, and even more hatred from one fan specifically. Though I feel I should say that all of this information came out much later. At the time when DC were actually publishing these comic books, they didn't know that any of the votes had been rigged like this. If they had have known, then maybe they wouldn't have released the Jason Todd Dies issue, and Jason Todd may have lived. Though we'll never know for sure. 
And personally, I'm kind of grateful that this guy did this, as without Jason Todd's death, we would never have gotten the Red Hood character, who is one of my favourite DC characters, and the star and main story of my favourite DC film, Batman Under the Red Hood. But what are your thoughts on all of this? Do you think it's particularly messed up? And who do you think killed Robin? DC, the fans, or just one fan? And most importantly, which way would you have voted? Be sure to let us know in the comments, and I'd just like to say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mass Productions page on Patreon. Patreon is a crowdfunding site that is helping us to bring you more videos each week and to raise funds for adapting comic book stories into short animated films. If you're interested in donating or just want to find out more, a link is in this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.